Okay guys, we've got another image sent in for us to edit and this one's from Michelle at Live Like It's The Weekend. So travel blogger and it looks like she has some travel tips and guides down here at her blog so you can go check those out and go give her a follow. There will be links in the description so make sure you go do that. And I really like the colours she's using especially in these tropical settings. So really nice warm greens and really nice reds and oranges pretty bright whites and I really like this style so if you guys like the style go give her a follow and let's get into Lightroom and we'll be working with this image here as you can see we've got our raw unedited image and the final edited image on her Instagram and just to point some things out you can see our blue has gone way more green the greens have become desaturated and there's a few more oranges in there and a few more whites and we're going to add in some more contrast and clarity and things like that to make it pop so very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the highlights and I'm going to do this because I want to bring up the whites to give a bit more of a pop I'll bring it down shadows and then bring the blacks down to keep some contrast and your photo looks pretty crisp so I'm going to bring up the clarity uh, I'm going to put up the vibrance vibrance affects mid-tones saturation affects the entire image equally so I'm going to bring this down Right, okay, tone curve time. So, only a little bit of a fade. Okay, there's nothing too special there, just your standard S curve, just giving it a little bit of contrast, slightly bringing down the whites and slightly bringing up those blacks. I'm gonna move on to some colors. Right, so I'm going to start with some oranges. I'm just going to shift them. See how they're a bit lighter over here, a bit more yellow. I'm going to shift them towards the reds. These yellows and these leaves here are looking a bit yellow. They're a bit more orange over here. Our greens are looking quite green so I'm gonna shift them away from the warmth because we added in so much warmth by shifting the yellows to an orange so aquas and blues making it green by just shifting them both to the left very green. Now saturation. Just trying to match stuff up. Bring greens all the way down. Now looking at the water. Now onto luminance, so affecting the deepness and brightness of the colors. Bring up oranges a tad maybe. So these yellows are affecting a lot. I think we're looking a bit too bright. These greens are looking really dark at the moment. 
gonna bring them all the way up to 100. Blues. What I'm gonna try to do is brighten the water. Give it a bit more shine and get the shadows out of it. Lift the shadows. Maybe up the blacks. Now there's a nice shine to the top of the water. I'm going to come back to luminance. Maybe just deepen. We're looking a little too shiny. Uh, split tone, it doesn't look like there's much split toning. Bit of sharpening. don't think we uh, no veneering, no grain yeah I'm gonna leave it there guys so yeah pretty quick one here's our before and after for after cool so you can go give her a follow in the description and give myself a follow and presets guys they're in the description if you're really liking these tutorials you'll like those and leave a comment on who you guys want to see leave a like and i'll see you in the next one